I'm Jeff Herman. I'm a silversmith, and I live in West Warwick, Rhode Island. I've been a silversmith for 40 years, starting in high school. I love the heritage of silver. I love how it shines. I like silver that is 100 years old, that's 300 years old, that has a softness to it. And doing restoration work, as opposed to making one-of-a-kind pieces, it enables me to see different work all the time, from different parts of the world, from different eras. That's what brings me the most pleasure. And I treat every piece the same, whether it's been a spoon that's been done the garbage disposal or a Paul Revere piece. And sometimes not knowing what's going to happen adds to that excitement. You know the, the characteristics of the metal, you know how it's going to perform, but there are times when something will catch me by surprise and uh, a hole will suddenly appear, and so I'll have to spend half a day working on it. It's just something that has to be done. Removing dents without leaving any marks and removing tarnish without making the piece look new. And knowing that I didn't leave one speck of tarnish where it wasn't supposed to be, that's like nirvana for me. I think working with my hands makes me feel human. Whether you're a jeweler or a general metalsmith or a silversmith or woodworker, you know, you're, you're even giving your hands character through you know, cuts and scrapes and bruises, just like the piece of silver that I'm working on. Because when you think about it, art is all about what you're doing, what you're doing with your hands and your mind together. My studio is my sanctuary. The bench I'm currently working on is my uh, high school bench. And it's got stamped steel legs. It's got uh, two pieces of three quarter inch plywood. And it's got a lot of holes in it. It's got a lot of scars, but I love it just the same. And uh, this is something that keeps me grounded and uh, reminds me of uh, how I started uh, my love of silversmithing. I think it's important to follow your passion because it's something that you'll never regret. There have been some very trying days where I'd want to really be doing something else. Pieces that I've had to put back on the shelf, not once or twice, but three or four times until I got a sense as to how that piece should be restored or conserved. But I can't imagine myself doing anything else. Hopefully I'll die at the bench. Hopefully over the bench and not under the bench.